You know the story, Adam and Eve. If you think you could have resisted the forbidden fruit, you need to get off your damned high horse and pay attention. Because not only are we about to make a simple and delicious ceviche recipe, but we're using what may very well have been the forbidden fruit. So try to resist, mofos. It's pink pineapple ceviche time. As always, you can find a full list of ingredients and their amounts in the description. I love the smell of fish on my fingers. Is that strange? Well, when you make ceviche as often as I do, you'd understand. And the secret to good ceviche is always the seafood. And that's why today we're starting with fresh rockfish, a mild flavored, firm fleshed fish that makes excellent ceviche. So let's start by cutting it into small pieces and then let's move on to the shrimp, which I prefer cooked. My preference is to start with raw and then lightly steam them myself before marinating. And we're going to chop this into smaller pieces as well. We want it semi-uniform, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, food is art and the dish is your canvas. When it comes to ceviche, there are many variations. I typically use one type of fish, shrimp, and imitation crab. But octopus, abalone, clams, and even squid are also common, which is known as ceviche mixto. The one common denominator in every ceviche is the use of lime juice to cook the fish. In this case, no heat is needed, just the acid from the citrus, which actually changes the texture and translucency of the meat while it marinates. So we're going to need enough lime juice to immerse our seafood in, about one to one and a half cups. So get your squeeze on. And once we've got our juice, we're going to pour it over the fish, and then it's time for some pink. Oh yeah. Pink pineapple, that is. We'd like to thank Melissa's Produce for sending us this beautiful pink low pineapple, which actually came with a certificate of authenticity. These pineapples are known for their extraordinary sweetness and their low acidity. Get yours delivered today from melissas.com. Here I'm using one of my favorite kitchen tools, a pineapple corer. They make eating fresh pineapple so easy, you'll be eating it all the time. Did you know that pineapple is high in fiber and packed full of vitamins and minerals that can have anti-aging properties, help with weight loss, and can actually act as an aphrodisiac? Well, it's true. And then there's the other benefit that specifically occurs when a man eats pineapple, which may be too graphic to mention on our semi-family friendly cooking show. Let's just say that pineapple can be loads of fun. So when we talk about ceviche, it's not just about the fish cooked in lime juice. It's also about the myriad of fresh ingredients that accompany it. Traditionally, most ceviches use a few key ingredients in addition to seafood. Tomato is one, usually diced, Cilantro, onion, and jalapeno are the most common. I love the crisp, fresh flavor of cucumber in my ceviche. It just complements everything so nicely. You can pretty much go wild and add anything you think would be complimentary. I've seen recipes use everything from corn and tomatoes to edamame. And obviously, I'm taking some liberties by adding pineapple. But if it tastes good, do it. Which is basically my mantra. And who doesn't love cilantro? Besides the 10 percenters that think it tastes like soap. And to those folks I say, it's okay to be special. We still love you. And speaking of love, a quick poem I wrote while you watch me dice that jalapeno. Roses are red, pineapples are pink. Subscribe to our channel and you will not stink. In all seriousness, we really appreciate all the positive feedback and every like and subscribe means the world to us. So thank you so much. Now, let me get back to acting like a cooking show host for just a moment. What we're doing here is called a brunoise or fine dice. But just a quick reminder when chopping jalapeno, don't forget to wash your hands before using the restroom. You're welcome. Did I ever tell you that I used to wear ski goggles whenever I chopped an onion? Well, I did. And it works great at preventing tears. But if you don't have ski goggles on hand, there are two methods to reduce the amount of tear-inducing compounds that you can use. One, use a very sharp knife instead of a dull one. And two, to chill the onion before cutting. So now comes the moment of truth. We're going to assemble our ceviche. This part always gets my heart racing. It's like when they're about to remove the gauze after you've had a nose job or watching a childbirth. You're excited, but nervous that it might grow up to hate you. And just look at that beautiful color. Fortunately, even if you can't get your hands on a pink pineapple, regular pineapple will do. It's that sweet tart combination that complements the ceviche so nicely. You just have to try it to understand. And yes, I'm taking my time to mix thoroughly so that with each bite, you get a little taste of each ingredient. But before we're finished, I have one last secret weapon. Someone once told me to add tahini to my ceviche, and I'll say that I've used it every time since. It's that good. It just adds the perfect amount of salt and a subtle toastiness that balances well with the citrus. 
This ceviche is so fresh and so delicious, whenever I eat it, it leaves me feeling amazing. It's healthy and light, and each bite tastes like I'm on a tropical vacation, where the trees are full of exotic fruit, and colorful snakes are trying to get you to eat it. Wait a minute. Why does that sound familiar?